Welcome to this Arnold Colourford Knitwear tutorial. Today's video is all about blocking your lace knitting with pin combs and pins. This video is part of our Something New to Learn About Lace series and you can find out more about the book and about the beautiful projects found in it over on our website acknitwear.co.uk. I'm going to show you how to block this uh, mini lace shawl using pin combs. If you've not come across them before, pin combs are a really handy invention. These ones are made by Knit Pro and they're called knit blockers and they're basically a series of eight pins all in a kind of comb format which makes it much, much, much easier to pin straight lines in your knitting and generally speeds up blocking no end. As well as the pin combs, we've got a ruler to make sure that everything's even and some T-pins that we're going to use for pinning out the points of our shawl. This is a mini version of Donna Smith's Africa scarf that is found in our Something New to Learn About lace book and we're going to use the pin combs to block it uh, so that the lace shines really beautifully. So we're going to start off by securing the corner sections of the shawl and I find that it's easiest if you kind of lie the pin comb on its edge and just make sure that you've pinned all the way along the very edge of the fabric evenly that you've caught it at both ends and you haven't got a big lump and pin down into your blocking mat. These are Knit Pro blocking mats as well, which work really well with the pin combs. Once you've pinned one corner, you're then going to stretch out the fabric a bit and pin the other corner. Oops. Keeping an eye on your edge as you do so. And then using your ruler to keep your edges nicely perpendicular, pick up the next corner, making sure that you've caught each end and pin that in place. Now that we've got a width, obviously you could be pinning to the measurements given by your pattern. I am pinning this to 22 centimetres, so we're going to go down to the other end and make sure that that's pinned to 22 centimetres as well. And again, picking up the edge, brilliant. Pulling it out. Once you've got the corners pinned out, you can then add more combs along the edges to keep the edges nicely straight. You need to have each comb quite close to the one before, otherwise you'll get a little scallopy bit in there. But this is still much, much faster than pinning with individual pins would be. And it's much easier to readjust if anything does need a bit of tweaking to tidy it up. There we go. And then we'll work along the top and maybe pull out the middle first this time. And there we go. You can see I'm sort of lying the pin comb on the edge and making sure that I'm picking it up evenly and so one end isn't too far in. You can sort of wiggle it to make sure it's not. Then once I'm happy with my straight edges, this has a scalloped end. And the pin blockers, the knit blockers, come with holes in the end, so you can choose to thread some cotton or waste yarn through the hole on the corner and then through your points and pin it out and stretch it that way. But if you've not got too many 
points, you can also just do them with an individual pin like that. It's worth taking your time just to re replace pins if necessary, making sure all the edges are perfectly straight. And then work along the fabric, checking any sections that you want to be lying straight are doing so, and just gently moving everything into place with your fingers. Yeah. That one a bit further out as well. And once you're happy, you just simply leave it to dry. But I hope you can see that with the pin combs, it's quite easy to undo and readjust as you like. It's much easier to do that than it would be to go along and move 40 pins along the edge. Five pin combs is much more manageable. Thank you for watching our video all about blocking your lace knits with pin combs and pins. If you'd like to find out more about our book, Something New to Learn About Lace, or about our yarn, Something to Knit with 4ply, then do visit our website, acknitwear.co.uk, where you'll find that and much more, including the accessories that you need in order to block your knitting. Thanks for watching.